Hi guys, so today I'm going to be making a new rug frame. This is the wood that I'm using and I bought this at Home Depot. It's called a sawhorse. So this is what it is. It's called a contractor sawhorse. And it seems pretty sturdy. So this is probably a lot better than having it on the ground. So we're going to test it out. I will have the dimensions of what I cut this wood as. But a quick tip, you could get the wood cut at Home Depot. Just tell them the lengths you want to cut and they'll do it for free. Alrighty, so this is my old frame. As you can see, I was working on the ground. I would just have like a rug right here and leaning this against the wall for the most part. But after putting this frame on top of here, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the same lengths. And this is 40 inches on the sides and 43 inches on the top and bottom which makes a perfect square and yeah I'm gonna do that right here these are the construction screws that I'm gonna be using they're two and a half inch and they come with a drill bit as well to do this like star drill bit um, I got these from Home Depot and they're just really sturdy and I like using these. This wood's really dirty because I've had it outside for a while, but before I use my screws to go into here, I pre-drill them with drill bits. And I do this because if you just do it with the screws, sometimes you'll get like a warp and it'll end up being like spaced out like this with the screw in it. So it helps to pre-drill it with a drill bit first, that way it goes in really snug. Then I just continue this process on each corner and I'll show you what I do next. These carpet tack pieces will keep your fabric on your frame and you'll be able to pull your fabric tightly onto the frame as well. They come with these nails pre-installed into them so you don't have to worry about putting extra nails into your wood. These nails are what's going to keep your fabric from staying on your frame. Uh, another quick tip is make sure that your nails are facing the outside way that way when your fabric is on here it doesn't slip off have it pointing outward first off though i'm gonna figure out where i want to cut this and this is right at the edge so i'm gonna go ahead and mark it right here and i'll do that for the remaining pieces you will need uh two of these um pre-packed packages in order to do the dimensions that I'm doing for this frame. All right, so something I did that isn't that necessary to do, but you could probably do the same thing, is I had some scrap wood left over, so I put it against both of these sides, and I'm, you could use it like as a shelf or something. I'm not sure if you put a wider piece of wood but I'm just probably gonna put sandbags or something to weigh it down a little bit more because sometimes when you're pushing against the rug frame, it will tilt. And I don't know if this setup is gonna do that as well, but if it does, I'll probably just add stuff right here to weigh it down. So what I'm gonna do now is pre-drill some holes. I'm gonna do two right here, two in the center, and two on this other side, just like I did to the edges of the frame. One final thing, I added this piece of scrap wood just in case uh, it starts to tilt over, which I highly doubt it's going to because I already tested it out, leaning it or, and pushing on these higher parts and it hardly ever tilts. So this thing's actually pretty sturdy. Um, if it does tilt, I'll just put my foot on this little piece right here and it'll be completely fine. And another thing is 
these L brackets I add on the back of the frame. Um, they're not completely necessary, they just make it that much sturdier. So now I'm going to test it out and I'll tell you what I think about it. I'm so glad that I decided to put this extra scrap wood in between these two pieces of wood on the side because now I made my own little uh, stand or a place to put my rug gun. So all I did was add some screws that I had from that one screw box and I could tie the cord around here and then I added two screws to go on the bottom of the rug gun and two more right here to support it. And it's super easy to take off and put back on. Easy step to do that'll make uh, your space look a lot nicer so you don't just have to leave this on the ground when you're done. After finishing this new frame, I'm really happy how it turned out and it's pretty nice being able to stand while making rugs now. That bottom piece I added, it's really not that necessary, but it might come in handy when using the rug gun on higher parts of the frame. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I also sell all the materials you need to get started making your own rugs, like this rug gun right here and the fabric that's on the frame. Thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.